we were always taught we were special. And we got to come to this special place and we were going to build like a heaven on earth here. We had joyful lives. We were safe and we were happy. And that's when everything really started to change. We were taught everybody was our enemy. And then it was Warren Jeffs that did it. We had to pull all the children out of public school, and, you know, sending men away. There's not anything about this community that Warren Jeffs left intact. We didn't own anything out here. Everything was God's and the trusts. They could stay there if they signed a lease agreement and paid the back taxes, just like anyone else in America. We're not signing any occupancy agreement. I'm thinking, yes, right, all those people outside are horrible. And then I go and I meet these wonderful people that have left, and I'm like, oh boy, those FLTS people have it all wrong. Because there hasn't been anybody that I don't feel for. My great-grandfather Elmer's homestead. That's just totally heartless. We are taking the walls down, taking a storehouse and turning it into a school. This is disgraceful. Taking that other warehouse and turning it into the social services. This building was used to harm you before, and now we're gonna use this building to heal you. It's hard to watch them just take over. Warren Jeff, he doesn't get to define us. It's our story now. We've never asked anyone to believe something they don't. We just ask that they let us. They'd rather lose $100 million in property than violate their religion. 